Ha. Ladies and gentlemen, we are learning. Let's learn some math. I want to teach you one thing really quick. Um, and this is a way with dis distributing that people always mess up. This is a number one way people mess up when they're doing um, the distributive property or whatever you want to call it. Um, let's say you got 2x plus 3 minus 8x plus 2. Okay? You're going to do the distributive property here. You're going to distribute the 4, which means you're multiplying it there and there. So 4 times 2 is 8x, and 4 times 3 is positive 12. Here's where people mess up. They'll take this part and they'll just drop, the, I mean, there's no number there, so let's we'll drop the parentheses, make that negative 8x plus two. Okay, yeah, screwed up, all right? This right here is where you screwed up. They make this negative not as important as it, as it is. It is very important. This negative still deserves the same distributive property that you gave this for. What's always beside a multiplication when you know it's not there? So if it's like um, negative a, you know that the number is always right there. It's always 1, because 1 times that a is still a, but you need that coefficient there. What's the coefficient that's always right here? Negative 1. So what you do is you have to distribute that negative 1 to every term inside here. Boop. Boop. Negative 1 times 8x is negative 8x. Negative 1 times positive 2 is negative 2. And then you would combine your like terms. You got 8x minus 8x. Well, that happened to work out nicely. Those cancel each other out. Then 12 minus 2 is 10. You got your answer. And now you know the number one way people mess up with the distributive property. And that's the more you know. Please subscribe if you get a chance. I really appreciate it. Um, that's pretty much it. Check me out on social media, at Tyler Tarver. <laughs> Enough promotion. Get to work, crazy. Hello, thank you for coming to Tarver Academy. Please subscribe, maybe.